Who is the hidden Imam? One of the many traits that Abrahamic religions share is that they all believe in a savior or a messiah figure. In the Islamic tradition, we refer to this person as the Mahdi, meaning the guided one. Muslims of all paths and creeds have a firm and deeply rooted conviction that he will one day emerge as the savior that this world so desperately needs. In fact, all Muslims also believe that when he reappears, he will be joined by an ally, Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him. The messianic role of Al-Mahdi has been prophesied in the Muslim holy book, the Holy Quran, and by Prophet Muhammad himself, who foretold that the Mahdi will reappear and will bring justice and peace to the entire world, abolishing tyranny and oppression. Specifically in the Shia tradition, it delves into this topic in a way that makes it immediately applicable and relevant to our lives. In the Shia belief, the Mahdi is also referred to as Imam Muhammad al-Mahdi, a direct descendant of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his family. He's the 12th Imam, that is, the 12th leader blessed by Allah with divine knowledge, power, and infallibility, and selected to be the heir and successor to Prophet Muhammad. Like the 11 Imams before him, Imam Mahdi serves as the representative of God on earth during his era. And for this reason, he's often referred to as Imam Zaman or leader of the era. But unlike the previous Imams, Imam Mahdi is hidden from the eyes of the public. And for this reason, he's also referred to as the hidden Imam. We, the people, we may see him, but we do not recognize him. And this manner of disappearance or being hidden from view is referred to as occultation. But despite not knowing of his presence, we benefit from his presence. In fact, to quote Prophet Muhammad, the people will benefit from him the same way that we still benefit from the sun on a cloudy day. The hidden Imam is named after Prophet Muhammad. He is a direct descendant through Lady Fatima al-Zahra, the Prophet's daughter, peace be upon her. Imam Mahdi was born in the year 869 of the Common Era, corresponding to the year 255 after Hijrah, in the Islamic calendar. He was born in the city of Samarra, Iraq. Imam Mahdi's occultation began in the year 874 CE, or 260 AH, following the martyrdom of his father, Imam Hassan al askar His occultation continues to our time today. Throughout his disappearance, many people have been fortunate enough to encounter Imam Mahdi and receive guidance and assistance from him directly. But these occurrences are special and rare. The Shia belief is that presently, no one can claim to be Imam's direct representative. In the Shia Islamic belief, even during the Imam's hiding, among the obligations that believers have towards the Imam is the obligation referred to as intilar. Intilar means to proactively await the emergence or the reappearance of Imam Mahdi. To proactively await means to increase one's knowledge and to adhere to the duties as commanded by Allah. And it also means that if we are truly waiting in anticipation of the peace, justice, and equity that the Imam will bring about, we have to start at home. And we have to strive towards achieving these ideals in our homes, in our communities, in our towns, and in our world. Islam's outlook to the future of humanity is hopeful through and through. Muslims from every corner of the earth await the reappearance of the Mahdi, for they believe the words of the Quran, which speaks of a bright future. Islamic scripture tells of a hopeful tomorrow, along with abundant blessings, revolutionary technologies, environmental harmony, and stability, all without a trace of tyranny, oppression, war, poverty or distress. Mankind will witness the establishment of justice, peace, tranquility, faith, wisdom, and monotheism in the world. Such changes will begin with the emergence of the Imam, and when the people hear his calls and witness the blessings that Allah bestows upon the Imam and upon his followers, including Prophet Jesus, they will gravitate towards him. Like his forefather Prophet Muhammad, Imam Mahdi will reach out to all corners of the world. He'll establish diplomatic communications with leaders,
connect with peoples and dialogue with humanity everywhere, enjoining to peace, faith, and harmony. Some tyrants will wage war against the Imam and his followers, but ultimately, the Imam will prevail. According to the Holy Quran, this divine promise that the earth will be inherited by the righteous servants of God is mentioned in the Torah and the Psalms of David, like other heavenly scriptures before that. As the Quran states, it is God's will to confer favor upon those who are oppressed in the earth and to make them leaders and make them inheritors. Now, hope is not exclusive to any one faith or religion. Hope is universal. Hope is human. It's what keeps us going. It breathes enthusiasm and joy into our life. We all hope for a brighter tomorrow, one in which no matter where you go across the globe, people treat one another as they deserve, not as others, but as members of the same human family. A tomorrow in which we treat our planet with care and with respect. A tomorrow of peace, of equity, of shared dignity. So as we all strive and work in our own ways to bring about this hopeful tomorrow, let us also collectively pray to the Creator to bring this brighter tomorrow closer to today. Thank you all.